Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a real exciting and crazy video. We're going to be exposing another YouTube highlights channel for lying about Symphony. Now this whole entire situation with Symphony joining a brand new team has been blown completely out of proportion. For those of you who don't know, yesterday we made a video talking about how no clickbait highlights actually clickbaited and lied in his title and video about Symphony joining Ghost Gaming. Now we do actually have an update on that situation. After my video was made, no clickbait highlights did come to my video he made a comment and this is what he said very good video you are 100% right I should definitely have titled it more honestly and I apologize for that I shouldn't have taken a quote by Bizzle that seriously and I apologize for that I'm going to take down the video thanks for clearing everything up so first and foremost I just want to say respect to no clickbait highlights for owning up to what he did and deleting the video that takes a lot of balls and I appreciate that but guys he wasn't even the worst offender of them all today we're going to be talking about Fortnite rare who completely lied and manipulated and twisted a situation so badly just to get a lot of views and a lot of clicks. Now don't worry, this isn't going to be some crappy exposing video where I just give my opinion. I'm going to give you guys hard facts and evidence how this guy lied and tricked everyone into believing that Symphony rejected FaZe Clan to join Ghost Gaming. Now before we jump into it, do me one quick favor guys and slap a like on this video. Every like really helps support me and it will also spread this video around so everyone can see what a lying piece of crap this guy is. And also, if you do want to stay updated on videos like this covering all professional Fortnite news and drama, don't forget to subscribe. Now, let's jump into it. Now, the title of this video is Streamers Shocked After Symphony Rejects FaZe Clan and Joins Ghost Gaming Fortnite Moments. It's posted by Fortnite Rare, who has 492,000 subscribers. Now, we've actually had a run in with Fortnite Rare on this channel. If you guys do remember, about a month ago, I made a video exposing a lot of clickbait channels, and he was involved in a video where I was exposing spider peripherals and how how these youtubers were using their fans to gain extra money by using illegal tactics to sell them shitty gear so we already know this guy isn't a great youtuber and to be honest with you he's an awful youtuber he's only in it for the money he doesn't care about the people that watch his videos he just wants you to click and drop a like now let's go ahead and watch the clips that he provides which proves that phase clan was rejected by symphony so he could join ghost gaming roll it oh he signed you know, after it being this long since, like, the initial talks, I didn't think you were going to sign with an org. Why'd you do it now, all of a sudden? I'm going to be with somebody rejecting phase and joining Ghost? Is that what happened? No, hold up. Did he join Ghost? He's joining Ghost? He announced on stream? Really? Um... Do you think you should enter a team or clan like basically GSM? Uh, I, uh, I signed an, uh, a contract yesterday. Alright, so first, we already know that Symphony has not joined Ghost Gaming officially because if he did, there would have been Twitter announcements by Ghost Gaming and by Symphony. And yesterday in my video, I even said that he probably isn't joining Ghost because if he was, Bizzle wouldn't have been out on streams trolling and saying that he is signed to Ghost. And I'm even willing to double down on this and say Symphony 100% will not join Ghost Gaming. But regardless of that, Fortnite Rare manipulated this situation so hard with Jailmock, he cut up a whole bunch of little bits and parts from Jailmock's stream to make it seem Seem like he was saying that Symphony did join Ghost Gaming and he turned FaZe Clan down in order to do it. But matter in fact, it was the complete opposite. Jailmock was literally just reading a donation and then said that it was a complete lie. Let's roll the actual footage without it being cut up. Yo, falling in the four dollars. How do I feel with somebody rejecting FaZe and joining Ghost? Is that what happened? No, hold up. Did he join Ghost? I'm looking this up. Hold on. He didn't join Ghost. He ain't joining Ghost, you're lying piece of shit. Fuck him for $4 though. Yeah, literally, he was reading a donation of somebody saying that he rejected FaZe Clan to join Ghost Gaming. This was not Jailmock's words at all, and Jailmock even called the guy a liar. But of course, Fortnite Rare wouldn't want to put the full thing in his actual video because in his title, he completely clickbaits and lies, and he doesn't want people to know he's actually doing that. So this guy took it one step further than no clickbait highlights. He added another part to it and completely manipulated and lied about what Jailmock was saying, and he knew exactly what he was doing. 
doing, guys. And I have now, okay, let me make this very clear. This is pure assumptions. Up until this point, this video has been 100% facts. Fortnite Rare completely lied and manipulated this entire situation in order to get more views and clicks. I already proved that in this video. You guys know it's true. Do me a quick favor also, again, drop a like on this video just so everybody can see what type of scumbag this guy really is. Respect to no clickbait highlights for deleting his video, coming out and apologizing. This guy will not do that. I can almost guarantee it. He's an absolute scumbag. But now I do want to make a fair assumption based off of some things we've seen in that jailmock clip and also some things off of Fortnite Rare's channel. I believe that the person who donated $4 to jailmock is the actual YouTuber Fortnite Rare. And he planned this entire thing out. He wanted to get a clip from jailmock talking about the situation and reading what his donation said so he can clickbait and get even more views. Now again, I'm making it clear guys, this is an assumption. I am not 100% accusing him of this, but it does seem like it could be true. Now we did learn in this video the reason why jailmock was saying that stuff is because he got a donation, right? Well, that donation was coming through by a guy named Flo, F-L-O-W. Now, if we take a look at Fortnite Rare's description in all his videos, he will say this, important, I'm just uploading these videos to promote Twitch streamers and YouTubers. If you want me to remove any music or clips, please send an email at floatives at hotmail.com. Let's look at this email, guys. F-L-O, wait a second. The guy who donated was F-L-O-W. Again, this is an assumption, but these names are awfully close. Is it possible that a guy who goes by the name of Floatives on his email is also a guy who goes by the name of Flo on Twitch? I think it's possible. Now let's take another look at this Jailmock stream. When this donation comes in and Jailmock reads it, it's at the 4 hour and 11 minute mark of this VOD, and it comes near the end of the stream. If you take a look at it more in depth, at the 4 hour minute mark, Jailmock actually decides to just chill and talk to the stream for a full hour almost. And overall, Jailmock isn't the most popular streamer. I don't know what he averages, but I'm going to guess maybe 200 to 500 viewers and possibly even less and especially when he stops playing Fortnite and just sits there and chills and talks with the chat I'm willing to bet he's averaging a hundred or less viewers so the chances that Fortnite rare is actually watching his stream at that point in time is very low and if you think about it definitely for somebody who is a Fortnite clip channel they're looking for Fortnite clips that means they want to watch people who are playing the game and entertaining not somebody who's just sitting there talking to his chat and sure if it is him he could say oh I'm just a big fan of jailmock which you know maybe he is but I am willing to safely bet that this guy planned the entire thing out. He was like, hey, I'm gonna go to Jailmock's Twitch chat, I'm gonna donate to him, and I'm gonna ask him this question, I'm gonna get him reading it out, and that way I can make Symphony joining Ghost Gaming seem even more crazy and get a ton of more clicks, which from a YouTube money-making greedy standpoint was a genius idea. The guy did get over a million views, but at the end of the day, it's definitely something I would not do. You can still get views talking about the situation. I have shown that myself. Regardless whether or not this assumption and speculation is true, he is still a scumbag. He completely manipulated and lied about the situation. But that's pretty much it, guys. Be sure to leave a comment down below letting me know what you think about Fortnite Rare. Do you think he is a complete scumbag? Do you think I'm blowing it out of proportion? I would love to know. Also, as well as that, be sure to slap a like on this video. I know I've said it a couple times already, but every like really helps spread this video around so everyone knows what exactly you did. And people actually need to know that Symphony is not joining Ghost Gaming and he didn't turn down FaZe Clan. And of course, lastly, if you do enjoy my content, do not forget to subscribe, turn post notifications on if you want to stay updated on all Fortnite professional news and drama daily. Thank you for watching, guys. I'm out of here. Peace.